problems. No. The edifice then becomes nothing more than a means of placation. It becomes the embodiment of all things placation. They, it's a placation of the, of the social. It literally is. It's like, okay, well, you know, we're going to appease our community so that they, they will leave us alone. And I mean this in a pejorative sense, right? This is, this is the whole reason of the problem. Right? We're going to appease our constituents so that they like us enough. It's like high school, right? Voting for prom queen. I never went to prom. Right? I didn't go to prom. I didn't go to grad night. I didn't do anything. I stayed at home by myself. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> right? The idea is, you know, we're going we're gonna to placate our constituency so that we can just get reelected and, you know, we just chill. It's not, it's not just the, the fault of the interest within. It's obviously also a fault of the members of the population because the population... And here's the rub, and I can't actually believe I'm going to say this publicly because I don't like giving out gems. And I also don't like putting my own position, so I already know I'm going to compromise my own positionality by saying this. I, I'm, I've written it, rather encrypted um, in, in text, and this is going to have me fall out of favor with my peers probably, but I wasn't trying to seek their favor anyway. Because they don't pay my bills and they don't give me love like my family does. The assumption is that the, the populace knows what's in their own best interests. The populace, you could argue, doesn't have a clue what their best interests are. The, the populace has always been a fickle lot. They've always been a fickle lot. And, and the idea that they vote in terms of their best interests is laughable. They are well-informed. They are well-informed members of our society. I'm not saying that. And I know, and actually, I'm also not going to qualify this. This is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Take it, if you don't like it, tough. If you like it, great. I don't really care. You know, let's keep it funky. This is my lecture series. The idea is the populace doesn't know what's in their best interest, period. They don't know what's in their best interest, right? So the smoothest talker, the, the, the fat cats who, who can appease and placate the interests of the population, well, they'll, they'll continue to do what they want. The idea, however, is that the constituency that votes for you, whoever you might be, within whatever political, parliamentary, whatever, bureaucratic machine that you exist in, that position that you have is only so powerful. Don't get it twisted. Like, your position isn't really that powerful. Like, you know, you govern, like, at best, maybe two, three, four, five, six million people at best is what you govern. We're talking about global, social revolution, evolution. Like, we're talking about the whole world of people. You're not that powerful, right? Once the whole world starts to realize that, yo, this is stupid, we're still debating these really trivial, minute, ridiculous, absurd points, and our political parties aren't in position to, to, to address our needs, and it's all been placation all of this time. You think one, one, one senator, one congressperson, one representative, I don't know what else you call these people in other legal systems throughout the world, but your parliamentary blah, blah, blahs, do you think that they have enough power to stop that social transformation? No, they don't. They don't have that much power. No human being on the planet has that much power, right? You get that zeitgeist in effect, dude, it's a wrap. <laughs> Let's keep it funky, right? So it's like, yeah, but, but, you know, people think about their own motivations, right? I want to be in a position where I can maintain my power and it's all for me, 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 and I am going to do what I need to do in order to appease those who put me in position so that I can maintain my position. That process of appeasement, however, right, this process of appeasement, this process of, this process of appeasement, right, this process to appease the members of the populace so that you can reinforce your power, right, you reinforce your power in order, you appease the population, only so that you can reinforce the power that you have. You recognize, however, the big equivocation. The big, the big oopsie is that you're the population with which you appease. Even if you are the president, for example, of the United States of America, 350 million people relative to the globe, it's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, you need to appease your population. Of course you need to appease your population. Your population is the population that you represent. You do need to appease the population, but you have to recognize when we start talking about globalization in its real manifest sense now, and there's parts of this that I'm just not going to broach because it's never going to be suitable for me to discuss some of my own personal beliefs 
publicly. I'll write about it encrypted in heavy, dense jargon, and you'll have to figure that out and read through hundreds of pages of boring crap just to get to a couple of gems. But I'm definitely not going to put it out there. But the idea is, the idea is, no, we have to recognize that it isn't simply about maintaining my own power. Right? The reason why Jason J. Campbell, whoever the frick that dude is, the reason why Jason Campbell is who he is, is because Jason Campbell, Jason J. Campbell, isn't in the position to maintain any power. I don't need, I did, how am I maintaining power doing the videos and lectures right now? There is no power that I'm maintaining. I, I'm already in a position. This has nothing to do with the, my position in the university at all. This, this is the fuel for Zeitgeist. This is where Zeitgeist comes to get a re-up on the fuel that it needs to get the society talking. So that social awareness, what Foucault was able to do, what I'm trying to do, what others like me are trying to do, is to wake you up. But not in this, we're going to overthrow the powers that be, right? That we're going to take over and it's going to be, you know, global anarchy. That's ridiculous. No, I believe there's always going to be systems of control. There's always going to be systems of governance. I'm giving away too much here. It's not about, you know, it's not about liberation from that. It's about getting the best system in place to represent the needs of a global people, right? Our constituency, quote-unquote, breaks down at this point, right? There is an inherent weakness then within the political. You can't really get to the, I mean, I don't want to go, well, I mean, I'm just going to go off. You can't really get to this point of recognition without realizing that the inherent weakness within the political as such, and we'll see this next after this, I will be doing um, Islamic um, political theorist Al-Farabi, and, and I incorporated and read a lot of his stuff in my, in my, sort of prep work from the dissertation, so I know his stuff really well. I don't want to go off on a tangent just yet because that's the next section, but the idea, which I haven't even formalized yet, but the idea is this, simply. There's an inherent weakness within the political because the political really does, in a sense, even in the best, most ethical representation of political, in a sense, is a process of appeasing the mass. Right? If we can just get these people to be satisfied with our form of governance, they'll leave us alone, and we'll be able to have power. They'll be happy, and we'll be happy. Right? The idea of sort of representation via constituency and representatives of it, it itself, direct or indirect, the constituency representing itself direct, the constituency representing itself through a representative, sort of meta level, right? It's what we have now, representational democracy, you know, representational democracy is meta level political right yeah it really is right the idea then becomes there's an inherent weakness uh, there's an inherent weakness within that as such why because i can't really as political concern and i'm anthropomorphizing here i can't really as political concern myself with the needs of those that i don't represent Right? So you're not a citizen of my nation. Hey, sucks. You know, you're getting bought. You know, Syria, they go, they're going over there killing kids now. Right? That's, at least that's what the media is saying. Right? So they're going, and it's been bad. Right? So they're, they're doing what they're doing. But in a sense, because of sovereignty, I can't compromise my sovereignty. I can't engage myself in another battle. Um, and I have to recognize that I need to represent the needs of my own people. I need to protect the concerns of my own people. It's a very difficult game. Like, like, let's keep it real. So what do I do? I go in and I, I, I save the day, only to find out that I didn't have a full awareness of exactly how tense the environment could have been. And I'm not going to go into a political deconstruction of this particular problem. But that could be a huge, no, that could be a huge bad move, right? Think about the geographic location of where Syria is, right? I, I get my, I, I put myself in a position to try and save the day, only then to compromise the interests of my people, or. I protect and safeguard the interests of my people, which is my job function, right, and hence the weakness, and thus allow atrocities to occur. It's a lose-lose. There is an inherent weakness within the political. I believe, however, that if you make a recognition of this weakness, you can make the best informed decisions, right? So in a Leibnizian sense, it's the best of all possible worlds, I guess. I sort of hybridize that. It counts the best of all possible political decisions. I would... I would say Rawls, in his initial sort of, in his initial articulation, he's changed his articulation more now for, for um, access and opportunity. 
but in his initial articulation, he almost he almost hit a grand slam. The idea is, however, that I think personally, and who am I to talk 